Sup, you beautiful bastards? Hope you're having a fantastic Thursday morning. Welcome to another Extra Morning News video. And today we're going to talk about a new, but also kind of an old problem. So this week, among other things, we saw YouTube discreetly delete a channel with over 280,000 subscribers and around 40 million channel views. The channel is called Susu Family, and on the surface, it was a family channel that showed the life of a Vietnamese mother and her children. But over the weekend, there was a creator by the name of Pay Money Wubby that posted a video highlighting that this channel was likely not what it appeared on the surface. Most of the videos showed the mother playing with her children, or at times breastfeeding them, both of which are fine on YouTube, depending on the context. I mean, playing with your children, I mean, that's literal family content. And with videos featuring breastfeeding, those are often okay if they're for educational purposes or in the appropriate context. And before moving forward, I really do want to hit on the note of, I don't think that there is anything wrong or unnatural with a, a mother that is doing a how-to educational video regarding breastfeeding. I don't think it's sexual in nature, it's natural, and the, the stigma and bullshit that mothers receive because of it is ridiculous. But it's that context and intent that comes into question regarding this channel. And the Susu Family's channel showed that there's a problem on YouTube with channels blurring the line of what is appropriate content and what is questionable. And so just to start, the first red flag that pops up, like maybe this is not going to be appropriate, the videos start with a warning about being disturbing to some viewers, which is questionable since it essentially is just a mother and her children. And in the videos, you would see what seemed to be normal interactions between a mom and her kids, except it appeared that she constantly angled the camera and herself to show her underwear for prolonged periods of time. And this including putting herself in positions that required her to push her child out of the way to get the shot. And going through the videos, this is kind of a constant. There are other clips of her cleaning her car and bending over to show her underwear. Now there's also an argument that's been made that it's possible that where she lives, there, there are more relaxed attitudes towards those garments. But also you have people pointing out that in the context of the entire channel, it does appear clear that the whole point is for this woman to go into these poses. And then of course, there is the breastfeeding of her children. Right? If the videos were only of her playing with her kids and then breastfeeding them, most would say, okay, well that's normal every day. But within the wider context of the channel, it comes off more like a chance to get around YouTube's rules around nudity. Especially when you take into account the thumbnails of the videos, which often show her in question poses again. Now, as I mentioned, this story picked up traction. YouTube has since deleted the channel, but as others have pointed out, including PMW, this is not the only channel like this. There are a ton of channels that are still up like this. People have pointed to channels like Baby of Mom, which is another channel in the same style of Susu Family, and they're not just some throwaway channel. Some of their videos have over a million views. Although this channel does seem to be less blatant than Susu Family, and many of the videos are of normal everyday life. Right? Like one of their recent videos on December 2nd, it features a mom going to the park with her kids, and for a split second, it shows her breastfeeding one child. However, this channel also appears to be skirting what's appropriate content and catering to a certain group of viewers. Nearly every video title features the words breastfeeding and the thumbnails are often just shots of her cleavage. Now, some of these videos have titles like how to properly latch your baby for breastfeeding. It could be arguably considered educational, except for the fact that at no point in a nearly 12 minute video does she actually explain or show how to properly latch your baby for breastfeeding. Instead, the videos either showcase the mom just lounging with her kids and breastfeeding or doing normal everyday things with her kids and breastfeeding them. The only common thing here is that every single video features her breasts. Other videos try the same education ploy with titles like beautiful breast breastfeeding tiny infant educational videos do not fail to focus part two, but at no point in the video is there any actual commentary for educational purposes. And there are countless other channels all doing this type of content. And it's interesting looking at a lot of the channels that are doing this because these channels in general, you'll see them switch from trend to trend, right? There was one while we were looking into this that actually switched from being a primitive technology knockoff channel to a knockoff Susu family channel. And in fact, they just did this two days ago, which notably was after the PMW video was released. And when I say it's a knockoff, I mean, it, it even comes complete with a warning tag at the start of the video. The thumbnails all feature the same panty shot style that the Susu family videos did. But unlike Susus, these scenes normally only occur once in the video and only for a few seconds. So if you were just watching the video, you think, okay, well, some of these shots, they might be accidental, except they're obviously not because they are not only featured in the video, they are featured as the thumbnails of the video. And once again, there's example after example after example, some more blatant than others. And so that kind of brings us back to why I said this is a new issue, but also an old issue. It's new because this is the latest version, but it's not new because we've seen other people mess with what is appropriate and not appropriate and try and share shield it in certain ways, right? Things that blur the distinction between suggestive content and something that's just kind of normal, right? We had things in the past like Elsa Gate, which was pretty blatantly messed up. But then on the other hand, there were those waves of channels where you had things like young girls that were really into gymnastics, right? The argument around those videos is other little girls that are into gymnastics, they're interested in these videos. But then when you would look into the comments, it was just a fucking creepy cesspool, right? So then all of a sudden people started talking about, is this suggestive? Is this exploitive? And as some of you might remember, then even more information came out afterwards. And the situation we're talking about today is also not completely new because we've actually seen arrests made in the past. Although be it with content that was more obvious in nature. There was this one breastfeeding channel owned by a woman by the name of Leigh Felton. That channel ended up being taken down for clearly being a portal to her adult content. She had links to more explicit pages.
pages on her channels and she was reported to the authorities. And in fact, she ended up being arrested. She was in jail for three years since being arrested in 2015. She was initially charged with 34 different counts, but eventually only found guilty of one this past October. That charge being lewd and lascivious performance in the presence of a minor under 16. And this reportedly because of one of her more explicit private breastfeeding videos. And so because of this, she needs to register as a sex offender for life. And in November, she was sentenced to spend an additional 10 years behind bars. And so I wanted to include that here just to kind of give you a little bit of history as far as this not being completely new. But a big thing that I do think should be noted here is that YouTube has been very active in policing these channels by either disabling the comments, removing the channels, removing the videos once they learned about it. That said, it would not surprise me if a ton of these videos, even some of the old videos, pop up again. Bad actors on this platform consistently find new ways to get past the filters. And in this particular situation, I think it's a really unfortunate one. Not only because you have these kids featured in these really, really creepy videos, because they're taking something like breastfeeding and they're adding to the stigma around it. Something that's normal, natural, great for a mother to do, she should feel no shame doing it. And meanwhile, you're gonna have a group of people out there that are gonna try to exploit that, sexualize it, all while with children in the videos. It's creepy and disgusting, and really, I mean, the, the best way for the system to try and deal with it is when you come across these videos, Flag them. I mean, YouTube system's only gonna be capable of so much. I mean, I think when they last mentioned it, there are 300 hours of footage uploaded every minute. But ultimately, that's where we are. It will be interesting to see what further response we see from YouTube, what further actions we see. And yeah, I don't I don't know how to end this video. Just thoroughly creeped out, and uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this story. But all that being said, I'll end this just like every other morning video. If you like this video, or rather you liked getting an extra morning news video, hit that like button, let us know. Also, if you're new here, you want more of these daily dives, whether it be these morning videos or the regular Philip DeFranco shows, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also ring that bell to turn on notifications. Sometimes the notifications it's meant to give you even work. But with that said, I love you face. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later today with a PDS.